Hey everybody, this is a pretty bad gameplay of myself failing as the gunslinger. And today I want to focus on one important thing, and that is killing bots. You should always be killing bots <clears throat> in most situations. If you're not killing bots, you will fall behind in the game. So please, kill bots. And in this game we're going to show how I, despite doing very poorly, I'm still on top of the scoreboard for my team because I most, mostly focus on killing bots. And right off the bat, you see how I can't get a headshot to save my life. Um, someone had auto-locked commando, so I figured, you know what, I'll play the gunslinger. That won't go wrong at all. And it does because I really cannot get headshots. And it's also uh, spunky arena, meaning that you can't as easily switch between lanes, so I have to carry the lane... Uh, pretty confidently because my team can't just rush over right away. At least not in the early game. Once you unlock the jump pads, it's a bit easier, but even then you're kind of risking it. So right now I'm just getting some headshots here. And um, early on, I, I know there is a there is a build for the Gunslinger that focuses on gun flurry, but I'm not very... Even that i kind of not good at using. Especially if you have a, a, you're in a lane against an assassin and another another Gunslinger, which means that uh, right, right there the... Assault commits suicide, basically, and I—I I don't know why I went in against him. And of course, the other gunslinger can actually kill me and get headshots. So even even worse. And there, I was—I was hitting that, hitting the crap out of a, uh, out of the uh, what's it called, kneecap ability, wherever her, her snare is, and it was not going off. I am—I want to play like five matches as the gunslinger, so. I, mean, I know, I know, you had to, you know, target the person and you know, hit the button, but it was not going off by having them in my sights. So as you see here, you know, don't at that, at that point I realize, you know, don't be, don't be aggressive. Just uh, go back and focus on bots. It's right here. Just picking off bots from far because you're pretty safe. Uh, it's not like giving a force in the lane where they're gonna be pushing pretty hard. The assassin is a uh, a threat, but at least we'll be able to back, we'll have to back off a little bit. Once again, trying to get headshots, not getting headshots. I, I don't know what it is. You know, I, in most matches, I'll get like one headshot kill. That's it feels really satisfying. But then the rest of the match, I'll get nothing. And this match, I think I don't think I managed to even get a a headshot kill. And you know, once again, just killing bots, not focusing on trying to kill her because like I guess I really can't do that. And once again, the assault's kind of overextending a little bit. Even I am a little bit. Probably should just focus on waiting for our own bot wave to move up a little bit. But you know, just keep uh, keep getting those bot kills. And it's important to remember that the, um, as I said uh, in another video, the the little tiny slim bots do not actually do not actually give you any sort of credit if you had tagged it beforehand. Well, there you got some headshots, but didn't kill anything with them. So if you're if you're looking to get bot kills, you might actually kill the smaller slim bots, the bigger shady bots, and the uh, Fat Fuji bots, you can tag those, and as long as they die within five seconds of you damaging them, you also get credit. But uh, don't think that you can just—I uh, mean, the slim bots really die in one hit anyway once you get to a certain level. But make sure you know you know what you're doing. And right here, I failed to get a headshot, and I get it. and right there, just yeah, it's um. If you know you get headshots with rapid fire, you can pretty much uh, do it real fast. And I don't think the kill cam lasts long enough. You see there, he was trying to taunt, but... And I mean, taunting in the game is not... Um, is that a, always a personal thing? You get money for taunting after a kill in like 10 seconds? But the kill cam there didn't last long enough to really uh, let me see that, so... That, that kind of sucked for him. <laughs> sort of just faded out after a while. And now the... Uh, that, that gunner... Overextended like crazy. I'm not sure what he was thinking. So I got I got a kill in this game. I guess I didn't think I got any kills at all, but I guess I got one. Once again, going for a gun floor. I don't think I use gun floor that often. And I see her at the top. For some reason, I don't. Once again, hitting a ra cramming the E button, but uh, cramming the E button, and it never once goes off. I'm not sure what the heck was going on there. If it was just uh, lag on someone's part here or what, but I do not know. I guess I don't play the gunslinger that often. I, you know, like I said, I saw the little, you know, the little red reticle comes up when um, we actually have them in your sights to use the ability. Same with uh, Captain Sparks is blind. 
But yeah, at this point it's Annihilator, and I can tell right away we're not gonna we're not gonna pull it off. I think we also tower there right now. Yeah, we're pretty screwed at this point. And, but notice, though, I'm, I'm I'm mostly just dying, but I'm still within um, up until now they all got a level above me. But I was still within a level of them. And here I fail to get the grapple off on him. I die, but I'm still within level range of them, despite dying like twice or three times to the uh, enemy team. And that's because I was focused on killing bots. If you focus on killing bots, you, you the gap will it'll still be a gap if you if you die a lot. Right here, I'm okay. I didn't get a kill because of a bot kill, I guess. So it gave me an assist, but still two assists, zero and four. But I'm only a level behind the other team, so it's important to uh, to kill bots, especially if you're behind because it allows you to catch up. And if you don't catch up, you're going to die even more because you're dying a lot. And we had an annihilator. Uh, we lost the annihilator, so we're going to go and just uh, summon some Fuji waves to uh, help us back up. We're going to lose that tower right off the bat. Right here, two levels behind the assassin. Like, like I said, if I actually was not terrible at this class, I might have a kill or two, and I would still, despite being behind in kills of the assassin, I might still be within level range of the assassin. Actually, you know, be competitive. Since I am not good as a gunslinger, I am now really falling behind. But still still up there, though. I'm still within two levels, which isn't terrible. It's once you get the three-level gap where things get really one-sided. And I'm able to push a little bit more since I have the scramblers uh, she's got to deal with. Since she can't do any of her skills with a grappler in range. A scrambler in range. You cannot grapple with a scrambler in range. So that kind of pushes her back a little bit. And like I said, if I get, if I get headshots reliably, I might be able to actually do something here, but... My, my aim is terrible, so not going to happen. But yeah, kill bots, grab coins off the ground, and that will help you stay within range uh, to a degree. I mean, at, at some point you do have to get kills. You just actually play well, but if you're just starting out, you will notice things get a lot easier when you actually kill bots stay, stay within range of the other player. Because you will have the uh, advantage. And as a lot of players, they'll start off at the beginning of the game, they'll actually... They will start right now. I should have see. I should have been realizing that. Um, she would have done that. Well, at that time, I actually got the kneecap off for what little good it did me. But uh, yeah, players in the beginning they'll they'll play conservatively. They'll farm bots. But after like the first annihilator, things kind of break down and it's become sort of a death match sort of play. Right now, you see zero and five. By having no kills whatsoever, I still have a decent lead and money over my own team. And like I said, after the annihilator. It just seems to sort of break down, and look at that. Even on a deployed gunner, I can't get headshots. That's just sad. I don't know. Maybe it's um. I'm not even going to make up excuses for that. That's just that's just really sad. I'm not sure why I played this class. I actually find sharpshooters fun to play, but yeah, right there. Don't rely on turrets against this assassin. She can cloak, and she will, in most cases, get the kill off before you can do anything about it. But, um, yeah, just after the Annihilator, things start to break down and people are just start going after each other instead of actually focusing on bots. And what you want to do is focus on bots and look for kills when they're available. You know, it's nice, safe kills you can take advantage of. Talk to your team. Um, that's hard to solo queue. This was a solo queue game, so it's kind of hard to arrange anything. But if you know what you're doing, if you know what you're doing, you can actually, uh, you know when a kill is safe to get. You know that there's no turrets around. You know there's no, uh, no players watching their back, and what's going to die here? And you can get a kill with reasonably safe, or reasonably safe. So, for the most part, like I said, once again, despite having a lot of kills, I am with what is it? Two levels of the highest level character. So, just because you're dying a lot, does not mean you're going to you're not going to totally get the floor wiped with you. Just keep killing bots and stick with it. Play, play it safe. I'm not playing it safe. At this point, it's pretty obvious we're going to lose, but just try to play it safe, and you'd be surprised what you can do even when you're behind. Because you can make comebacks. As, a, as the other team gets more kills, they get higher bounty. You can kill them, and you can get a, um, a nice, uh, a lot more experience in cash than if they killed you, because they have so many kill streaks. I think the highest I've gotten is like $600 for killing a player, so... You can you can come back. You just have to focus on uh, playing it safe and making sure you're saying you're keeping pace with your team. A little bouncer there, and I make it in just safely enough. At this point, yeah, pretty much getting spawn camped. 
So killing bots isn't going to be the uh, the end all. You still have to play well. And that's see, look at that. I did not know bouncers could charge you like that. One damage charge, shoot at insult to injury. That's that's fantastic. Thank you, thank you, bouncer. As if you're not annoying enough to deal with. I have to worry about you ringing me out. But still, if I'll hit the at some point here, I'll hit the uh, score. And you'll see my uh, final cash. I don't think I ever fall below the other players. But at this point, I'm just getting, yeah, just a lot of... Yes, the rules have changed. Yep, I'm almost a thousand ahead of my other team. That's because I have... Look at the spot, uh, the, the uh, bot kills. Only the Assault has even close to my net number of bot kills. And Assault's... Uh, strikers in particular, uh, Assault and Carl, are really good at getting bot kills. So, you know... If you're, if, you, if you're finding your team uh, just got really good defenses, they're really uh, on the ball, just play conservatively. Uh, hang back, go for bot kills, try to get your level uh, in range, and you'll be fine. Eventually you'll get you'll get used to knowing when you can uh, go for a kill and when it's not safe to do so. But until then, just play conservatively, farm bots, and that's all. So, that is a lesson on how to not do well, but at the same time still give a fighting chance. Hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all next time.